It was the strangest game a man ever set out to bag. How could a thing like this elude a hunter when it was dead? The big hunt. With the right kind of transportation, a man could get to Dimension 5. With the right weapon, he could bag some unusual game. I, Jim Blair, had both the transportation and the weapon. When little Max Stossel asked me to test pilot the strange machine he'd built, I never realized the thrills that lay in store for me. Dimension 5 was alive with game, and hunting was my favorite sport. I don't know what this thing is, but it sure gives a man a fight. It was the greatest experience of my life. The money we agreed upon will cover the risks. It isn't much, Jim. I'm not a rich man, but I cannot tell you how grateful I am for your help. Well, this won't make me a millionaire, but I'll have a wealth of stories to tell at the Hunters Club. I imagine you'll be the most popular member there. Max was right. At the club, I was the center of attention when I began recounting my adventures in Dimension 5. Surely you can't ask us to believe all this, Jim. Every word of it. These strange animals you described, they, they couldn't possibly exist. You must be ribbing us. Oh no, they exist all right, but in a place only I can get to. Five foot insects with feathers and blue tails. <laughs> Transparent things with peanut brains and yards of nerves. <laughs> of course they laughed. I expected that, but no one could fabricate the minute details I'd given them. They'd realize it sooner or later. Carl Newberg was the only man who didn't laugh. What would you say, Jim, if I made it worth your while to prove your claims? I'm always willing to listen to a millionaire sportsman, Mr. Newberg. That last animal, the one that sprang at you, if you could bring one back, I'll pay $200,000 for it. It's worth it to me. $200,000? It's a deal, sir. I can have a trophy for you inside of an hour. I'll give you 24. I'm leaving for Europe tomorrow evening. It was more money than I had ever hoped to accumulate. All I had to do was pick up that animal at the spot where I'd left it. I ran all the way to Max's laboratory. Good luck, Jim. Thanks for letting me borrow the egg, Max. I'll be right back. In whirling seconds, I was back in the lush jungles of Dimension 5. This is the trail I took. There's only a half mile to cover. When I finally came to the spot, my triumph turned to ashes. I stared dumbfounded, realizing that I would never collect the $200,000. The thing was there as I'd left it, but it was mountainous in size. Something in its body structure had caused it to grow after death. It's, it's too big. Too big to take back with me.